Hello, and welcome to another WWE 2K23 Birthday Championship video. And today, or rather, two days ago, Friday, was Lita's birthday. So she's challenging for the championship here today. This is the last one, hopefully, where I'm behind on the schedule. Uh, we're up to date after this one. So yesterday we caught up a couple of uh, episodes, so make sure you go give them a watch so you've not missed them and you, you know what's been going on. But yeah, Lita going challenge for the championship. Recent women's tag team champion, of course, recently relieved of her duties as tag team champion. So, let's get the champ out here, shall we? I hope you did go back and watch when I told you to. The spoilers. Someone's got two titles now. The Raw Women's Champion and, of course, holding up the most prestigious of the titles, the Birthday Championship. Looking uh, a bit more subdued. Maybe not... I mean, Bianca Belair is strong, but maybe doing her little dance routine down to the ring with uh, two heavy championship belts is a bit too much. But this is Bianca's first defense. Within canon, it was the 9th of April. That was uh, Bianca's birthday when she picked up the championship. In real life, it was yesterday. But if she loses here... Her reign will go down as having lasted from the 9th of April to the 14th of April. So, five days. Of course, she won't be wanting that. I just realized her attire says Becky's and then some lips on her behind. It's not very nice, but maybe a little bit of a message to Lita. Of course, former Texas Champions very recently with one Becky Lynch to whom Bianca's pants are referring. So, there's the title that's on the line. Not for the Raw Women's Championship this much. Just for the birthday one. Which is plenty. Like, who needs more than that? Let's be honest. What a prestigious thing to be able to fight for. And Lita comes out the gate nice and quick. And takes Bianca down. And then a stiff forearm shot as well. Oh, takes her down once more. Bianca off to a slow start in this one. However, and I'm going to assume everyone who was ever going to go back and watch has done so now. We're going to talk about it. EO Sky, Randy Orton's tag partner in the defense where Bella eventually won the title. Um, she got off to a really good start and actually had the upper hand against Bianca for a lot of the uh, women's portions of that mixed tag match. And yet, here stands Bianca as the champion. Uh-oh, look at the strength just squatting with Lita up in a vertical suplex position. Two squats, in fact. And then suplexes are down. Of course, champion's advantage does apply. So if this is a double count-out or Bianca loses by count-out or disqualification, she will retain the championship. But Bianca is more honourable than that, isn't she? Let's be honest. She's uh, probably going to be looking... Oh, Bianca Mania running wild. Um, she's going to be looking for the clean pinfall victory with the KOD, I would imagine. Oh, there's a spear on the outside, though, to Lita. If his count is up to six, it could be a very short episode if they don't get back into the ring. Lita sends Bianca in roughly the right direction and then slides in and Bianca follows her in and gets the upper hand with the, uh, the kick there as well. Scoops Lita up. And doing a couple more, a few shorter squats than, and faster squats than with the suplex. The suplex was arguably more impressive, but still pretty impressive. Just gets a two count with that um, squatting scoop slam. Oh, and then the disrespect and Lita catches the heel. You don't see Bianca like being outright disrespectful, especially not someone of the stature of Lita, but uh, it's certainly fired up. 
Lita, the former women's champion, former women's tag team champion, of course, as well. And she's going to be looking to be a current, future, and reigning and defending birthday champion in the near future. Oh, now Lita talking some trash. Letting Bianca know. Look at that. Flings her across the ring. Oh, going for the pin off that. Okay. One. No, just a one count. Not that high impact and all that time taken dragging Bianca more towards the middle of the ring as well. Oh, a couple of knife edge chops and a clothesline to follow up. And a kick to the back as well. Lita's there. Uh, really taking this fight. Oh, double stomp onto the arm. Really taking this fight to Bianca Belair here. Going after the arm again. In fact, just targeting whatever limb is sticking out. Whatever arm. Trying to take away that strength gain. Off the ropes goes Bianca. Oh, she's ducked under that flying clothesline. Oh, Lita's just outright missed it. One or the other. But now Bianca gets to take control. Pump handle. Oh, into a gut buster. And a standing shooting star press. Because why not, eh? And now, looking to follow up on that by going up to the top rope. And goes for the 450. Lita moves out the way. Basement drop kick to the side of their head. As Bianca was trying to catch her breath having hit the floor. Uh-oh. Twist of fate by Lita. Scurries into the pin. New champion. One. Two. No. Bianca kicks out at two. But Lita just got to uh, stay on the offense. And she goes up to the top rope. Uh-oh. I think we're going to see a Lita salt here. And we do. She hits it. Straight back into the pin. Hooks the leg again. One. Two, new champion. No, Bianca kicks out again. But Lita quickly back on the offense. Takes Bianca down again. And Bianca rolling out to the outside. Lita is really taking this fight to Bianca Belair. Uh-oh. Oh, she went for a suicide dive. But Bianca moved out the way. And now Bianca trying to get the crowd back on side. Trying to get pumped up. She's been struggling a little bit. So she's going to get that adrenaline flowing. Building some offense with some rights and lefts there. Kick to the midsection. Looking for a pump handle again. And again into the gut buster position. Of course, Lita choosing an arena that she is familiar with competing in. And Bianca is not. Uh, as we always talk about, the challenger gets to choose the arena in these matches. Now, Bianca talking trash from the apron. Climbs up to the top rope. Lita's up. Bianca jumps over. Her, kind of stumbles, but Lita hit the turnbuckle. Now, Bianca runs back in. And a DDT by Lita. Talking trash did not pay off for Bianca there. Two and three. Lita picks up the birthday championship. Bianca Belair goes in the pile with people with no successful defenses. Who would have seen that coming? So congratulations to Lita, the new women's champion. Leave a like to uh, congratulate Lita and to let me know you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.